Merry Christmas everyone from Catherine's Plates. Today I'm bringing you a delicious appetizer, very festive, Christmas tree deviled eggs. These are a staple in our house during the holidays. So if you're ready to jazz these up, let's go. What you're going to need is some mayonnaise. Now I'm using some Dijon mustard or you can use regular French's mustard. Now, if you want to use pickle juice or relish juice, you can put that in there also. I'm doing salt and pepper. And we're going to need some food coloring for this part here. And then you're going to need your hard-boiled eggs. Now, as you can see right here, these are already peeled, and I got 12 of them on the plate here. Now, how I boil eggs is I put my eggs into a large pot and sprinkle salt on top of the eggs. That's supposed to help keep the eggs from cracking while they're boiling. So I bring that to a boil, let it boil for about two minutes. I place the lid on it, turn off the heat and let it sit for another 12 minutes. And then I take it over to the sink. I pour out with the hot water. I add some cold water with some ice, let it sit for about six minutes. And then I just start cracking the shells in the pot of water that's still there. And then just peel off the shells while they're in the water. And I get perfectly shelled eggs right here. You're just going to take your egg and you're going to cut it lengthwise down the center. Now I want you to see the inside of that egg. Perfect. All right, I'm just going to place these back on my plate for right now and get all the rest of these cut. Oh, they smell so good. I always got to save one for myself, you know. You know you do. <laughs> I think I have one more. Oh, no, he was already cut. He just flipped over. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, let's move this out of the way. Okay, I've got one bowl right here. What we're gonna do is pop out all the yolks. Very carefully, like that. Now, if you need a spoon to assist you, you can certainly do that. I make deviled eggs for almost every holiday. My family loves deviled eggs, and if we go anywhere, we have to double them up because, you know, we have to keep them home, too. Because <laughs> it is the appetizer for the holidays, and I like to find different ways to just make them really cool, like this one here for the Christmas tree. Yo, let me know down below what you like to put into your deviled eggs. I was going to put relish in it, but we're going to be piping and a Christmas tree, so it's going to be kind of hard with the relish in there. And that's why I suggest that you can put pickle juice or you can put the relish juice in there. What I'm going to do now is mash these up. I'm just going to use a fork. I know it looks funny, huh? The yellow in a yellow bowl. I'm going to show you why here in a minute. Now, you're going to make your mixture the way you like to make it. We want it a little bit softer. We don't want like a firm mixture, okay? Because we're going to be piping this out of a bag. Okay, we got that. Let me move these eggs out of the way for just a minute. Okay, I've got my mayonnaise here and what I'm gonna do is put about half a cup. I'm generally not a measure when it comes to deviled eggs. I just put in there what looks good. <laughs> but I want to give y'all some instructions here. All right what I'm gonna do now is put in a little bit of Dijon mustard, just a couple of teaspoons. go okay so i'm going to put in about a quarter teaspoon of salt it's easy to put salt in but it's hard to take salt out so be very careful at first give it a try after you mix it all up and see if you need to add more salt you don't the last thing you want to do is over salt your egg mixture okay i've got a quarter teaspoon of black pepper 
All right, let's go ahead now and mix this up. Okay, my mixture is all nice and mixed up here. What I'm gonna do is just take out about two tablespoons worth and just set that aside, just in a little bowl. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is take some green food coloring. Now this is a food gel, and I'm just gonna open this up. We're going to place some into our mixture here. We got a few, like a teaspoon. We're gonna go with that, mix it up, and see if we get that color that we want. I'm looking for that Christmas tree color, so a little bit more. All right, that looks really good. Perfect for a Christmas tree. So what I'm gonna do now is place this mixture into my piping bag that I have right here, and I've just placed it into a cup to kind of make it easy and manageable. Go. If you don't have piping bags, you can use zip, Ziploc bags for this and do the same technique. Just put it all into the bottom of your bag. And then what we're gonna do is snip off a tip right here. Let me bring my eggs back over. All right, I'm gonna lay them right there, put that right there, and then we're gonna bring over a pretty platter to put them on. We're gonna put our egg right here. You wanna fill the bottom. Just a little bit right there. And then do a zigzag for the tree. Like that. Just a little dab in the center there. And then zigzag for your tree. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I've just taken the two tablespoons of the mixture that we didn't color and I just put it into another bag here. Or you can use a Ziploc bag and just take off a little tip at the bottom there, just cut it off. And then you're gonna go to the top of your Christmas tree and just put a little spritz right there for the star. Okay, now what we're gonna use are some olives for the trunks of our trees. Okay, so I'm just cutting the olive in half, and then I'm just taking the half without the hole in it and just putting it on the bottom of our tree like that. Wait until you see the lights, they're coming. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to make the lights. Now, there's several different options you can do for that. You can chop up some vegetables very tiny and sprinkle them on the green part of your tree. Now, what I'm gonna be using to give it a little more flavor is some sriracha sauce. So just put a dot wherever you want your lights. And believe me, this is not a lot to cause a lot of heat on your egg. Mm -hmm. So, but it'll be so tasty. Think that's it. There you go. Christmas tree deviled eggs. Who's making these? Okay, what do y'all think of my Christmas tree deviled eggs? Aren't those delicious? And the many ways that you can light these trees up. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you comment down below. Don't forget my thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows like this one here are posted. I will see you on my next episode.